kind of a special occasion. It's uh, two companies now f uh, officially fully merged. Uh, can you give us an update on uh, how this has gone and uh, where you're looking forward to for, for this uh, mutual benefit? Yeah, we merged first in the first round all the sales organizations. So legally wise, we still are two separate companies, but on the market front, on the customer front, we merged together and we appear now in the total uh, solution uh, situation. And for you, Thomas, um, uh, sometimes these kind of transitions could be disruptive to everybody. What, what's, what's actually been happening? No, not at all. Uh, we're quite happy with how the whole merger has been going so far. Um, we didn't see many disruptions and uh, I can only say that Mayo Burger proved to be a natural fit to rough around. It's not a question of you offering uh, the leading edge in a particular uh, section of, of a process, say for instance metalization. You're saying that to really be at the leading edge, the whole line's got to be uh, uh, integrated and advanced and it's, it's part, that's what you're talking about as far as you know, the whole sort of system integration and steps of technology. First of all, you have to understand our strategy. We, we are a technology group, and the leading technology group for innovative systems and processes. And talking about the group, we have several companies, several competence centers focus on their key technology. So each of these companies has to be the best in class, and then we, fit, uh, we put that together into a system. So on each position, we have best technology, we put that together in a system so that it works together in a process optimized way. Okay, but what, what is the key driver then to go this route? Is it that you're not going to be able to have high, uh, high performance technology uh, at low cost uh, without, you know, uh, and, uh, without the high yields without that approach? I mean, is that the key, the key driver here again is the technology? And having fragmented machines, if when each machine supplier develops his machine and he thinks he is doing the best one, he is always too late because in the step before the guys are developing something, bring it on the market and the next one has to run behind and see how can he adapt on that. In our case we can do the overall develop development and get, as we have it for example from the header junction side, we design the heterojunction cell and we do it on a base of optimized wafers. Or at the, on the other end, on the module side, we optimize parallel to the cell design. We design also the cell connection in a way that we get the highest output of a module. So from, a, from that perspective, then I have another challenge for you. Is it's very difficult for a company to be experts in all of those critical areas. Uh, is that another aspect of the rock and row element here is that it's giving you, you know, a, a boost in, in certain areas of expertise to enable a, you know, a complete you know, system that's a high performance level? Yeah, that's definitely a, a must to have that under one roof. Otherwise you don't understand the cell side and then you are somewhere lost between the wafer and the module and then you have a hole in between so you need the understanding and you are you have to be able to develop on all three steps so uh, and that's a good point because, because it raises another aspect which is you know a lot of companies when they merge and acquire uh, they are you know, they're often still uh, based in the different places they don't actually get everybody together even though they try and claim that you know, that's, that's what we want to do. So, you know, how, how are you doing that internally to, you know, to offer this? I think that's the not that difficult case as we are doing. As I said, we are a technology group, so each company remains focused on their core technology. And we keep them more or less in freedom. First step, what we are doing is uh, making the financial reporting adjustment. That's the first part. Then we talk about technology, we talk about customer, so on the front end, and this solves a lot of problems. So our task is not, our aim is not to go into the company and tell them we are here, so now you are doing 
what we want uh, to have done. So we let them do their work. We only give them some frames so that they are, are under one roof. But the rest, they have to be the best anyway by themselves. If I may add, uh, from a rough around perspective, this is ex exactly the problem that we, we have been facing before we did the merger. Uh, you come to a stage where actually customers demand uh, more integration and more interfaces to the wafering and the module line, and then you have to make choices. Uh, you can go to other companies, and then you have always conflict of interest. And what we, what we see now with Mayo Burger is we, we work as a team. So we have the same targets, uh, we are joined as a team, we are merged as a team, and that makes a big difference. From my experience we had in the past when we did uh, system integration on the sell side.